Hi everyone. In last two sessions, we have seen the PPT regarding 8051 timers and 8051 addressing modes, and we have learned the basics of timers and counters in first session. And in session sec two, we have learned addressing modes with five types, and we have learned how the basic coding begins with these type of PPTs. And in today's session, we will see the instruction sets of 8051. and the contents in this video covers it seems instruction set and its types and when coming to an instruction the basic meaning we have to know what is mean by an instruction instruction is nothing but an address in which the data is entered so and what is the meaning for instruction set instruction set is nothing but a command or a order which is given for a computer as a coding In 8051, we have totally one eleven instructions, and the types of instruction sets in 8051. There are four types in 8051. The first one is data transfer instruction, and the second one is arithmetic instruction. Third one is logical instruction. The fourth one is branch instruction. Data transfer instruction. The main aim of data transfer is, is nothing but we have to move the data from one register to another register. So here we need two registers for exchange of information. And with basic instruction like move instruction, we can use for this type of instruction. And if you want to load any of those things, we have to use push and pop instruction. Some of the example for data transfer instruction is like move a comma r l. We are R and is nothing but registers. We can use up to R8, R0 to R7. So in in place of N, we can replace with zero or seven, zero to seven. So whatever the register you are using, the data in that register is moved to E. That is the description. Here we have one more concept like bytes. Actually, there are four, three types of bytes in general concept. Actually, one byte is nothing but If there is only opcode, then it is called one byte. If there is an operand followed by an opcode, and the operand is of eight bit, it is called two byte instruction. And if the operand is of sixteen bit and followed by an opcode, then it is called three byte instruction. So totally three types of instructions are available. So here it is one byte for this move instruction. and so many of examples are there regarding data transfer instruction but the concept is same whatever the data if you want to move from one register to another register we need to go for data transfer instruction based on that the size will be varied and few more examples for this like exchange a comma rn x c h a comma rn we are exchanging the contents in rn register to a accumulator and the size will be 1 byte here the entire 1 byte is transferred into an accumulator both will be of 8 bit 8 bit so we can transfer the entire bits into one register called accumulator same the second example also and third one exchange a comma at the rate r i so here what we are moving the reg register contents to accumulator so here it indicates that index it here it indicates that indirect addressing mode we are using and the final one is exchange d here only the four bits will be exchanged between those registers exchange of four lower bits into an accumulator default accumulator will comes into picture so here also we are concentrating on indirectly addressed mode in order to access internal or external ram memory and the byte will be of one byte and the next one is arithmetic instruction arithmetic instruction basically we are using in calculators mostly so everyone knows about these instruction why we are going some concepts like addition subtraction and new concept like increment and decrement operations will be there and for this also we need two registers and the result will be stored in a destination operand it is called as first operand and some of the examples for arithmetic instructions 
like this actually the instructions are like add sub increment decrement those multiplication division all those will come under arithmetic instruction and some examples for this is add add is an instruction a comma rn so what here the operation is we are adding the accumulator content and register content and finally we are storing into first operand it is called as destination operand so the result will be finally available in accumulator and the size will be of 1 byte and if if we go to carry concept then we have to use a d d c add with carry if any carry comes carry flag will comes into picture and along with that the result is added and stored with accumulator this is regarding addition instruction for subtraction we have only one s u b b subtract if even if borrow is there then we have to go for s u b b b so it is not supposed to use s u b only one one instruction is available in 8051 as like addition the result will be stored in first operand a and the size is of 1 byte increment increment a so what we are doing we are increment the accumulator with 1 and we are storing the result with 1 and this and the result will be available in accumulator and the size will be of 1 byte the next instruction is decrement a same like increment here the decrement is performed with minus 1 and the result will be stored with a size is also 1 byte and in 8051 only increment dptr is possible but decrement is not possible so same like that only we are adding the dptr with plus 1 and the result will be available in dptr it is of 16 bit but the byte will be size will be of 1 and next instructions are multiple division multiply we are performing with two registers and the result will be stored in accumulator and b register the lower half bits will be stored in accumulator and msb will be stored in b register if we perform division the quotient value will be stored in a and the remainder value will be stored in b da decimal adjust for accumulator this is performed in case of bcd code conversions the size will be of 1 byte for all and the next instruction is logical instruction logical instruction it is used to perform logical operations like and or xor all those terms here the instruction is performed with bit by bit not by entire byte bit by bit we are checking we are checking with every bit and we are performing the operation and finally after execution the result will be stored in first operand that will be the destination operand for entire code and the instructions are like logical and logical or logical xor clear complement all those instruction will come under logical instruction here example for and is logical and a with rn we are adding the accumulator content and register content and we are storing with accumulator that is the destination operator and the size for these will be of 1 byte same like and logical and logical or also performed and the result will be stored with accumulator and xor logical exclusive or we are performing with a n r n accumulator and registers any of the registers in 8051 with any bank with any of one bank selection and the size will be of 1 byte clear if you want to clear the entire byte as zero then you go for clear instruction and if you want to make complement of any register you can go for complement but for this clear and complement you need to use accumulator only and if you want to go for bit wise then clear c if you want to clear single bit then you have to go for carry flag clear c here carry flag only we can use and for set also we need to use only one bit that is carry flag it is not supposed to use byte wise instructions or any flags so we need to concentrate on these two like clear and set we have to go for single bit but the entire size of this instruction is 1 byte swap if you want to swap the lower nibbles and upper nibbles then you can go for swap 
here from 0 to 3 lower nibble and 4 to 7 higher nibble of accumulator will be swapped and the size will be of 1 by and rotate left in accumulator you can rotate left towards right actually if you perform this information whatever the content in 7th bit that will be moved to 0th bit here it indicates A0 to A7 A to A0 the bit by bit operation is done in rotate if you want carry if you use RLC rotate left with carry whatever the data in carry initially it will be 0 the 7th bit will be moved to carry and carry bit is moved to 0th, 0th bit of accumulator and the cycle will be repeated up to getting fully over same like rotate left here rotate right is performed like 0 is moved to 7th bit 0th bit is moved to 7th bit and with carry 0th bit will be moved to carry and that carry will be moved to 7th bit that is rotate right with carry and the next instruction is branch instruction here it is, it is also called as program cycle instruction why because the entire control of the program cycle will be controlled using this branch instruction like jump and a call instructions some of the instructions are there in branch so because of those instructions we are calling program control or program cycle instruction and some instructions in this type will be called as main main thing for this instruction because it is used to generate some delays in the program like halt halt of the entire coding and some of the instructions are like a call l call return a jump l jump s jump all those things we'll see detailly a call address if you use a call with some address then the size will be of two bytes one for one byte for a call instruction and address for one more byte if you use this wherever the address is present so it will move to there and from there once again it continues so here are some examples if you call this address it starts executing from this line and it ends up to that instruction is ended and if you want to go for short delay then you can go for a call if you want to go for long delay then you can go for long call address here the address we can represent with any of the labels so for long call the size is 3 by and same like a call if you use l call some label name which indicates the address it will move to there and it will start execute from there and it will ends up to that label ends next is return in your program if you want to return to any of the place like main or anything or any function then you can go for return for example you executed all those things and finally if you have used return then it will return to where you have called a jump as like a call and l call we have l jump and s jump here a jump same like that but the size is one byte and l jump long jump with address and the size is 3 bytes like l call here it is called as jump instruction that is called as call instruction like conditional and unconditional terms will be there and s jump if you want to go for short delay then we can go for s jump with any label here rel represents any label you can represent with any label name and jump if carry this is one more instruction in branch instruction if in your program some something you have to perform so in terms of carry if carry is there then move to somewhere like if carry is 1 then move to PC so you can represent with any label so it will goes to that PC wherever it is present there it will go but the size is 2 bytes and one more thing if carry is there then we can use JC if there is no carry we have one more option like JNC jump if no carry if carry is 0, it, be, it seems there is no carry. So, then once again if you have to perform any coding, then you can move to that label and we can perform. Here the size is also 2 bytes. And one more. Jump if bit is set. 
if bit is set we can jump to some address and we can start executing but for this the size is 3 bit 3 byte and one more option like jump if no carry like this only jump if bit is set and and clear it and jump if if bit is set then clear it and jump to some label if you have to use in this case in in any of your programs then you can go for jbc bit is set and you have to clear it and we have to jump to some other address jump is zero jump is non zero this is also two types of instructions available in 8051 with branching instructions so we have seen carry bit carry flag so like that only if bit is zero if any bits are zero in, in our register then we can move for some other address so jump is zero if zero comes it will be jumped to some other place some other address from there it starts executing if there is no zero jump is non zero rel with some address then from there it starts executing so for these two separately it carries two two bytes and one more instruction called compare and jump is not equal so it seems we need to compare with some registers if both are equal then it performs some operation if both are not equal then we can jump to one address called rel here it is label so some address will be allocated for that if both are not equal then it will be jumped to some other address if it is equal then it comes to next line so for this the entire size is 3 byte same one more example for that if it is equal then it's up here the data immediate data will be moved to immediate data and the data in accumulator will be compared if it is equal then next line is performed if it is not equal then it is jumped to some label with some address and one more in instruction called decrement and jump if it is non zero we are decrementing some register for accounting purpose we can go for this instruction like decrement and jump if it is non zero we can make the count to some value and we can decrement up to zero getting zero if if we are not getting then you can continuously rotate like a loop and finally it will ends when it reaches zero and the size will be of 3 bytes and finally nop once your program ends you can mention with this instruction like nop no operation i don't need to perform any operation so there you can go for nop thank you for seeing this videos and visit more for these websites